everyone so now after the practice set 6.1 question number 5 we will start the question number 6 of practice set 6.1 and question number 6 is all about prove that and here we will utilize the trigonometric identities formula to solve the given ratio just please look at the board dear students it is very much easy question number 6 is prove that see number 1 sin square theta upon cos theta plus cos theta is equal to sec theta so my dear students is equals to this side is your left hand side ratios is equals to right hand side is your right hand side ratios is it clear and in proof that always we will utilize this left hand side ratio that should be equal at the end that should be equals to the right hand side it means we will solve this left hand side the answer of this ratio should be equals to the right hand side iska answer right hand side ki jitna hona chahiye Okay, so look at the board. First, we will copy the question of left hand side. Sin square theta upon cos theta plus cos theta. Can you see over here the addition is given? An addition of two ratios is possible when their denominator will be same. Here denominator is cos theta. Here denominator is what? There is nothing. It means here it is 1, right? So here we want cos theta. So what we will do? We will multiply this by cos theta theta. So, we will multiply numerator also by cos theta. Is it clear? Why we are doing this? Because denominator should be equal. Here cos theta, here nothing. So, here it is one of uh, cos theta upon 1. That 1 will multiply to cos theta to become cos theta. Yaha pe cos theta hona chahiye. So, if you are multiplying denominator by cos theta, multiply the numerator also by cos theta. So, what will be this? Sin square theta. Look at the board very easy. Yeah? sin square theta upon cos theta plus now this cos theta will multiply to this cos theta it will be cos square theta upon cos square theta cos theta ones are cos theta right now see addition is possible of these two, two ratios yes because denominator is same so what we will do here we will do the addition sin square theta plus cos square theta upon only one cos theta right because in addition of ratio we write the denominator at once only okay now do you see something sin square theta plus cos square theta this is the value of something the value of this is one we, we have seen in trigonometric identities that is sin square theta plus cos square theta is equals to one so instead of this we are writing one upon cos theta why you are writing this because of sin square theta plus cos square theta is equals to 1. We know this. So therefore, we know one more thing that 1 upon cos theta, it is a reciprocal of sec theta. So we will write here sec theta. How? Because we know this because of sec theta is equals to 1 upon cos theta. Yes, we have seen earlier in the introduction also and while making the trigonometric table also sec theta is a reciprocal of cos theta. Is it clear? So, we will see here that this LHS is equals to RHS which is equals to RHS. So, therefore, we will write LHS is equals to RHS. Therefore, we will write sin square theta upon cos theta plus cos theta is equals to 1. Okay. Similarly, we will see the question number 2 here also. Cos square theta bracket means multiply. 1 plus tan square theta is equals to 1. So, proof. We have to prove. It means we will take the left hand side only. That is cos square theta multiply by 1 plus tan square theta. The answer of this should be equals to RHS. Okay. So, pay attention here. We will write this cos square theta. We know that 1 plus tan square theta is equals to sec square theta. Is equals to sec square theta. Why? We know this. It is trigonometric identity. That 1 plus tan square theta is equals to 1 plus tan square theta is equals to sec square theta. Okay. This is trigonometric identity. We should know this. 1 plus tan square theta is equals to sec square theta. So, in place of this, we will write this. Okay. Now, we will, we know the thing here also. See, sec theta is equals to 1 upon 
cos theta. Sec theta is equal to 1 upon cos theta. So we will write here. Bracket means multiply. 1 upon cos square theta. Right? Because here sec square. Here sec theta is equal to 1 upon cos theta. And here sec in square form. Sec square theta is equal to 1 upon cos square theta. So this cos square theta and this cos square theta will get cancelled. What will remain? 1. That is equal to RHS right hand side. Therefore, we will write LHS is equal to RHS left hand side is equal to right hand side. Therefore, we will write the question that is cos square theta multiplied by 1 plus tan square theta is equal to 1. I hope you understood here the things how to solve. It is very much easy. We should know the trigonometric identities. So dear students, now we will see the third question of question number 6 that is prove that C. Third number is square root 1 minus sin theta upon 1 plus sin theta is equal to sec theta minus tan theta. So this is, is equal to this side is your left hand side. So we will utilize left hand side only to make it equals to the right hand side. This answer should be there at the end. Okay. So we will utilize this left hand side ratio only. So check here proof left hand side is equal to square root 1 minus sin theta upon 1 plus sin theta. In this condition, uh, there are less chances to solve, but we should know, we have learned uh, in 9th standard, the conjugate, the, how to rationalize the denominator. See, here 1 plus sin theta is denominator. So, how to rationalize it? We will take its conjugate pair, yani it's the opposite. Here it is 1 plus sin theta. So, conjugate pair of 1 plus sin theta will be 1 minus sin theta. Okay. So, we will rationalize the denominator. We will utilize here opposite of 1 plus sin theta. That is 1 minus sin theta. We will multiply numerator also and denominator also. See, 1 minus sin theta upon 1 plus sin theta. Given ratio. We will multiply it by the conjugate pair of its denominator. That is 1 minus sin theta. Is ka opposite. Conjugate means is ka opposite. 1 minus sin theta multiplied by numerator also and denominator also. Okay. By doing this, what do you see? See this bracket and this bracket are same. Exactly same. So this will be 1 minus sin theta bracket square. See 1 minus sin theta bracket square. Means this bracket comes twice. Ye bracket do bar aya. Isle square. Now here it is a plus b, a minus b. See, a plus b, a minus b. a, a, a square plus minus minus b, b, b square. It means 1, 1, 1 square plus minus minus sin theta multiplied by sin theta, sin square theta. Is it clear? Now we will simplify. Bracket 1 minus sin theta comes twice. So it is 1 minus sin theta bracket square. 1 square is always 1 minus sin square theta as it is. Okay. Now, we know here this will be a value of something. See, I have taught you in the beginning only sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Now, cos square theta will be there only. Sin square theta will go to the right hand side. See, it will be 1 minus sin square theta. Remember, I have taught you in the beginning. Sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. But now, cos square theta will be there only. Sin square theta will go to the right hand side. So, it will be cos square theta is equal to 1 minus sin square theta. So at the place of this 1 minus sin square theta, we will write cos square theta. Okay. First numerator as it is. Now see the both the terms are having square and it is under the square. So by taking square root, they will be a pure 1 minus sin theta upon cos theta. So look at here. This is a square root. This is also square. This is also square. So if we will take their square root, they will be pure 1 minus sin theta upon cos theta. Now focus here, it is subtraction. It means there were two, there were two ratios like this. 1 upon cos theta minus sin theta upon cos theta. We know this, we have this like this. Now we have to separate this. So if minus is there, it means two ratios in which there is minus. Okay, so which were two ratios? 1 upon cos theta minus sin theta upon cos theta. Remember? So we, we can write here 1 upon cos theta minus sin theta upon cos theta. 1 upon cos theta is the value of sec theta minus as it is. Sin theta upon cos theta is the value of tan theta. So therefore this is equals to right hand side. So we will say therefore left hand side is equals to right hand side. So we will write at the end the question. I hope you understood here. You can write over here that 
sec theta is equals to 1 upon cos theta and sin theta sin theta upon cos theta is equals to tan theta. This is the value <coughs> we should know and this is how we have to solve. I hope you understood here. So thank you so much and best of luck.